Yo, what is going on, any people? It's uh, Jaden here, and today I'm going to show you guys uh, a new version on how to make a dope trap beat. So, basically, right here is I have a drum pattern I'm working with. So, always before like you do something, make sure you EQ your stuff because it's going to sound whack. So, um, turn the kick down, always mix and master. I just like uh, literally taught myself how to just stay consistent with the mixing and stuff. Um, but yeah, you saw how I did that. Uh, basically, you don't want no like static out there, so you want it to cut off right here. Then you want to up these. You want to like uh. Just raise these up a little bit wherever you see the peaks at. And that's a good place for the kick right here. So it's perfect. Um, so we have the snare. You want to place it right under there. Uh, go to your panoramic EQ. Pan parametric EQ, my fault. Um, so as you see, the snare is right here. So we're going to take the one. Um, I don't think I'm gonna do the hi hats because they hurt the ears, bro. Like they hurt my ears bad when I watch the videos. Um, so after we did that, we have so we have that. So that's pretty good. So next, sorry about that. If you heard the mic move. Next thing we want to do is get an 808. Um. I actually have new 808s I have from the studio plug. Does he not come with that? Screw juice in my ear. Yeah. That sounds nice. Uh, so yeah, when I get this, I'm going to just turn the attack. Oh, man. Check this tweet real quick. Uh... So yeah, I, if you guys heard, uh, Little Uzi is dropping his Love is Rage track, pretty hype. Um, just wishing you would drop it soon. That hits hard. So I'm gonna keep that 808. Um. Actually, I'm going to take it and um, move it down. And for this, I want to add a little slide. Let's try to do it. Perfect. The heck? Now you want to go to your 808 and turn it down. Um, don't forget to do what I taught. Raise that. for this I could press the heck out of this because I like hard hit when I listen to stuff I know I like it hard ah uh, that alright y'all are gonna get on me for doing that aren't you and uh, another thing another thing I almost forgot key thing is, uh, make sure 
you take your snare and there's go to the hundreds. I think I learned this from a studio plug, maybe. Just give it more deaths. Okay, guys, so bear with me. I'm going to put the hi-hats down here, okay? So just before you say anything, that's where the hi-hats are going to go. They're going to go and insert five. I'm sorry if it hurts anybody's ears. My fault, okay? Don't mean it. Um... Let's see. Okay, so let's let's use a Sony digital hi hat. And again, I'm really sorry. The heck? Oh man, I'm so sorry, guys. This is only if it's doing it. I'm not really sure. Um, oh, crap. Okay, kind of messed up. No, I didn't. I'm going to just keep it for there for right now. Oh, and another thing I would recommend you do is whenever you're working with hi-hats, make them jump. Oh, fudge. Yeah, so make your hi-hats, like, jumpy. It's weird. It, some people think it sounds really cool. I don't really like it, but um, it's worth a shot, you know? So... And then uh, for every half one, turn it down a key bit. When it comes to beat making, it's pretty self-explanatory. It's just when you first start doing it, I I know you don't you realize you don't have no clue what to do. Now, it sounds weird. And I think that it does, but I'm not, it doesn't matter. People like it. I like it. It goes well with the drum pattern. Okay, so next thing we're going to do, guys, is um, make a little fudge. We're going to make a little uh, pattern. So first thing you want to do is get your sampler out and... If you're still watching the video, make sure you do subscribe. Um, it helps me a lot. Go to Aeolian and make sure only one is not checked. And fill in every C5 or whatever note you would like to start at and just fill in every half or every octave. And basically, we're going to use this for like making a kind of a slow sad kind of feel doesn't really matter I usually keep in my sounds right there um okay so basically after we're done that open up any uh on the or whatever you use I'm using Nexus um whenever you're using a sound make sure you turn it down to there okay and let's pick out a sound we want to use um, I want to use, let's see, let's see, yes, let's see, I, I like bells, I use, see, I like bells, so I'm going to use that, I don't know why, don't ask me, you, you can if you want, but, so the trick is that I learned what, from doing this, um, when you do that, you saw how I placed a note down. The trick I learned is you have to do it every other note you place. So 
say I like that, but you know what I'm gonna do is take this and we're gonna go do do. So let's. Make sure you do subscribe. Uh, so I can do more of these and get better with you guys over time. I do welcome anybody to my channel. Okay, see, no. This is the problem I have. And then uh, we'll go. Hey, and then what you want to do is clone this, add your melody, Sorry, sorry. Oh, that's what I want the sound to be like. And then what a guy requested me to do on SoundCloud. Reader, reverb, reverb, blah, blah, blah. I can't 
believe you guys haven't caught me yet. I didn't do the key thing. Mm, yeah, yeah. So let's uh lay down. I'm gonna start off the song like uh this. Yeah. Oh, little Uzi Vert. Did he drop the album? Here we're gonna put it down two, three, four, and this would be right here is a full thing, so we're gonna add our drums. So let's try it. Okay guys, and uh, basically just add your DJ tag right there. Make sure you add more sounds, for instance, like your drum patterns. Make sure you don't keep them just like that. Mix them up. Um, make sure to mix your sounds up like that. That's basically just how, just want to teach you guys how to build your beat and EQ and all that other stuff. So if you guys did enjoy, please make sure to leave a like, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.